to your voice, your vote. Tonight, just 551 votes separate incumbent Lauren Boebert from her Democratic challenger, Adam Frisch, in the race to represent House District 3 in Congress. A reminder, these results are unofficial. And a few votes are still trickling in. We do have team coverage at this hour of the race for District 3, including why it takes so long to count ballots this many days after Election Day. Garrity on News Channel 13's Annabelle Childers has been in Pueblo all day as those votes are tallied to explain what this means for a recount. Annabelle. Bart Heather, Lauren Boebert is leading in this race, but no one has claimed victory quite yet. We are in the territory for an automatic recount, but that could change because we don't know exactly how many ballots are left to count in District 3. Anybody else? Yeah. The final vote counts are in down in Pueblo County. Lauren was 31,102. Adam Frisch. 35,390. And now as totals come in from remaining counties, all the talk is on what happens next and the possibility of a recount. It can't be made till after the canvas and it's going to be made by the Secretary of State's office. That decision will be determined after the election is certified, which will happen at the latest on December 5th. The winning candidate must win by more than one half percent of their total votes. If they don't, an automatic recount is triggered. But even if that doesn't happen, there could still be a recount, but it would be up to one of the campaigns to pay for it. I can imagine that's pretty expensive. When we spoke with Adam Frisch last weekend, he said he's not ruling out the possibility of paying for a recount. You know, let's see what happens when it sh shuffle, shuffle, shuffles out uh, okay. about there. Um, you know, we think we're going to actually decrease the margin. Uh, we think we still have a path to overtake uh, Representative Bobart when it's all said and done, but we're very, very confident it's not going lower. So we'll see how that goes. We reached out to the Secretary of State's office, but they could not provide an estimate on how much it would cost for either an automatic recount or a permissive recount. So we will continue bringing you coverage as this progresses. Reporting live in Pueblo, Annabelle Childers, KRDO, News Channel 13. All right, Annabelle, thank you. As voters 